Hi, hello, welcome to Navina Vidya. In this video, Mrs. Malti Samput Kumar will be explaining the types of rainfall. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to our channel Navina Vidya already, please do so. Water may be present in the atmosphere in all the three forms: gaseous water vapor, liquid water droplets, and solid ice crystals. This unique gift of nature to our watery planet and to the biosphere is of great significance for various reasons. There is a continuous exchange of water between oceans, the atmosphere and the continents through evaporation, transpiration, condensation and precipitation. This unending circulation of water on the earth is called the hydrological cycle. So water gets evaporated from the water bodies and the water vapor gets suspended in the atm atmosphere and it gets condensed that is condensation when the air reaches the saturation level that is when the air is not in a position to hold any more water vapor then condensation turns into precipitation this pre precipitation is known as rainfall so precipitation is defined as rainfall and depending on its origin it is classified into three main types convectional orographic and cyclonic or frontal in general, only rain and snow make significant contribution to precipitation totals. Hence, in many parts of the world, the terms rainfall and precipitation are used interchangeably. In fact, precipitation records mostly refer to only rainfall data. Since snowfall is less, e easily measured with the same degree of accuracy. Convectional precipitation or convectional rainfall. It is caused by convectional ascent of warm and humid air to great heights. Most of it is in the form of rainfall. Due to excessive heating of the earth's surface in summer months, vertical air currents are produced. As the surface air rises, it expands and cools and eventually gets saturated. This is followed by condensation and precipitation. This process releases latent heat of condensation which further heats the air and forces it to continue upward movement. So this leads to further condensation and precipitation. Convectional precipitation is heavy but highly localized and it is associated with the minimum amount of cloudiness. Rainfall in the doldrum that is in the equatorial region is of convectional nature. So wherever the surface gets heated you find the convectional rainfall. So in equatorial region you find till 12 o'clock you find the heat is more the sunlight sun heat is more then you find the evaporation, condensation and precipitation. So after noon you find there is convectional rainfall almost all the days. Traffic or relief rainfall. Unlike convectional rain which is caused by convection currents, orographic rain is formed when wherever moist air is forced to ascend a mountain barrier. It is best developed on the windward slopes of mountains where the prevailing moisture laden winds come from the sea. The windward slope is the slope which faces the wind, which receives the wind. The air is compelled to rise and is thereby cooled by expansion in the higher altitudes and the subsequent decrease in atmospheric pressure. Further ascent cools the air until the air is completely saturated. 
so the air has got enough water vapor now it it is not in a position to hold more water vapor so that is what meant by saturation this happens due to cool temperature decrease in temperature so the condensation takes place forming clouds and eventually rain since it is caused by the relief of the land it is also known as relief rainfall much of the precipitation experienced on the windward slopes of the northeast of west malaysia western new zealand western scotland and wales and the assam hills of indian subcontinent is relief rainfall on descending the leeward slope the slope which does not face the wind the, the other direction the opposite direction of the windward slope a decrease in altitude increases both the pressure and temperature the air is compressed and warmed consequently the relative humidity will drop there is evaporation and little or no precipitation the area in the leeward slope of the mountain is termed the rain shadow area the effects of rain shadow are felt on the canterbury plain of south island new new zealand and the western slopes of the northern and central andes and in many other areas in india we find pune in the rain shadow region mahabaleshwar receives more rainfall as it is located on the windward slope of western ghats cyclonic or frontal rain this type of rainfall is independent of relief that is orographic or convection it is purely associated with cyclonic activity whether in the temperate region or tropical regions in the temperate regions you find depressions and whether tropical regions you find cyclones basically it is due to the convergence of that is meeting of two different air masses with different temperatures and other physical properties so here you see the warm air meeting the cold air so as cold air is de denser it tends to remain close to the ground because cold air sinks the warm air is lighter and tends to rise over the cold air in ascent pressure decreases the air expands and cools condensation takes place and light showers called cyclonic or frontal rain occur the heavier and colder air masses eventually pushes up the warmer and lighter air and the sky is clear again